Hi there! So today I wanted to go through and name 16 dragons that have never been available in DML to obtain. And so these are dragons that we have never been able to purchase, dragons that we've never been able to breed, uh, anything of the sort basically. So these are just dragons that we have never had the opportunity to own as players. And there are some really cool dragons in here that I personally really want to get a hold of, so I'm hoping that uh, maybe in the next update or the current one with all the new hidden dragons, maybe we'll get some of these guys coming out then. But the first one I wanted to go through was the Orca Dragon. And so the Orca Dragon was a dragon that was advertised during the Show Your Paws event that happened, when was it? I think it says down here in about the 16th of June 2016. And we had a bunch of different dragons that people could choose from out of this event. There's the polar bear, the orca, the sea turtle. And you know, a couple of those have come out very recently. But the orca dragon himself has never come out quite yet. And he's a dragon that I actually wanted to win at the beginning of the event. So maybe we'll see him one day. And another Show Your Paws event dragon was the Rhino Dragon, which is the second dragon that we have never seen before in-game. Again, we've seen him in the game during the Show Your Paws event, but he's just never been available to obtain in any way. And he does have a really cool design. He doesn't really look like a dragon, but you know, he does look like a rhino, so he fits his name pretty well. Then the next dragon I'm going to go through is the Herald Dragon. So this dragon is actually a rare light and energy, kind of an interesting looking dragon, but he's never been available before as far as I'm aware, but you know, he kind of looks almost like a warlord of some kind. I wish that he was more of a legendary rather than just a rare, but either way, he's a cute little dragon that we have also never seen. I mean, look at his eyes. He's just so, so godly in his own way. I, I really do think that if they'd have brought out Divines when he was first available, they probably would have wanted to make this guy a Divine. And the next dragon we have is the Piñata Dragon, who is an epic with Earth, Light, and Wind. I personally don't know why he'd be Earth and Light, but I love him. And to top everything off about his you know, ridiculous design. He even has a really dupey tooth, if you can see that over here. I don't know why, but I would love to have this dragon in my game, but there's no way to get him. Next dragon, who was actually quite a few people's favourite when we found out about his release, was the Runestone Dragon. So, you know, overall, he just has a pretty cool design, and, you know, he really does sort of embody the the special energy that is around DML and, you know, the stuff that's talked about in-game. So I would love to be able to get this dragon in-game personally, but, you know, like the rest of these dragons, we'll just have to wait to see if they're ever going to be released. Next guy we've got here is the Black Hole Dragon with Fire, Energy, and Shadow. And personally, I think he's great. A lot of people love his design. I mean, it's just weird having a dragon that is a literal black hole. How cool is that? And to top it all off, he has like, a, I don't know what you'd call this, but it, he almost looks like he's made of molten lava when it's actually probably just the universe falling apart. Then next dragon we have is the Mosaic Dragon. So this guy, definitely an interesting design overall. I'll zoom out a little bit here but very bright and colourful, even though, you know, he's, he kind of can look a little bit weird to look at. I just think, you know, the person that came up with this design, there's so much effort that goes into designing dragons like this, you know, they're all shiny and polished. I'd love to see. Then next guy, who is of the same body style, is actually the Trickster Dragon. So most of these dragons from this point onwards have actually you know, been announced or, you know, been implemented into the game's files pretty recently. It's just, you know, we can't actually see them or obtain them in any way quite yet. But the Jester, I mean, come on, he looks super duper cool. 
He's got the little lipstick on the front. Obviously, he's got the pale face, like how they used to put makeup all over themselves. There are some such interesting designs in some of these dragons. I don't know why, like, why do you decide not to release some of these dragons? Like, I, I don't get it. Next up, one of the, the less appealing dragons, I guess you could say, would be this guy, the Turf Dragon. And I mean, that's mostly just down to the fact that he's a little bit plain. I feel like this could definitely be an earth and plant, like, uh, rare or something. If that's what I originally thought that they were going for here, because he definitely just looks like an earth and plant dragon. You know, just straight up. He, he does. And that's not to say I don't like the design. I think his little smug grin really, really looks cool as well. So now we have the Fox Glove Dragon. So this is an epic light, void, and fire dragon. And um, I mean, I think this dragon is based off of a type of plant of some sort. You can see it's all... It's, got these weird scales on its back and then it's super spiky, it's got a fin on its head. This is one of the really strange dragon designs and you know, is there a reason in particular why it hasn't been released yet or is it just gonna stay in permanent limbo? Yeah. No one knows as of yet. Next up we've got one of my favourites from one of the last patches actually and it's actually the Blackberry Dragon. You know, fruity dragons, just, you know, how can you turn fruit into living beings? I don't know. Somehow, the DML team manages to do it. But Blackberry Dragon, you can see he's got a whole section of blackberries just as the tail. And then the design itself, I just think, is so incredibly cool. Uh, obviously, maybe I've, I, I've just played too much DML, but I, I do like the plain designs. Just the ones that are based on something so ridiculous, but... You know, still to this day, no word on release. Next one is the Circus Dragon, and I already made a video on when this guy was originally added into the game files. An epic with wind, plant, and fire, as you can see at the bottom there. But the Circus Dragon as a whole, he's got basically my favourite colour as his like main body colour, which is that bright blue. I love him. You know, him along with the Jester Dragon, maybe they were trying to, you know, come up with something to release them at the same time. Maybe we'll see some sort of event for the both of them. But, you know, overall, he's he's just a gigantic circus ten. How, what else could you ask for? And um, plus, he's got the massive ball that people used to do, like, uh, stunts on, you know, how they used to get on top of the ball and run around on top of it. I don't know. I'm in love with this guy. I want to see him. So next one we've got is the Snow Sport Dragon, and maybe I'm being a little bit unfair since this one and most of the recent dragons only came out in like the last patch basically, or last update I should say. But Snow Sport, you know, people were assuming that he was going to come out during the last Christmas events that we just had like two, three weeks ago, but... Very cool design, very slick. He just looks like a, a snowboard down here. And then he's got skis on his head. Literal skis on his head. And he looks like he's got a torch on his tail as well. I think there's just so much going on in the design of this dragon. And it, it does show that over time, the dragons are getting more detailed. They are getting more interesting. And they are getting more unique. Then the next one we've got is also one that was literally just released in the game, pretty much. And this is the Avocado Dragon. So if you don't know yet, his, he's apparently a rare dragon with plants and earth being his elements. Which, you know, makes sense. Avocado, plant, earth. I can give that to you. But this guy came from a, a piece of fan art, actually. So they base the design of this dragon off of just a, a fan art picture. So, you know, if you ever have your own dragon ideas that you ever want implemented, you might as well send them through me. You might see your own thing come into existence, like this little guy here. But this guy's egg is probably the funniest egg in the game. I actually don't think I have a picture of it. Uh, 
I'm, I'm going to search it up right now because, you know, I, I, I don't know where I'm going to find this. Is it here? Here we go. Here's his egg. It is literally just an avocado. I, I never thought I would see a dragon where his egg is just a piece of fruit, but there you go. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And so the next dragon we have is the Vibrant Dragon, which is a fire, light, and water dragon, as far as we know. You know, since it's never come out in game yet, that could be changing at any given point. But overall, I love the design of this dragon. I, I do like the blue that they've used with it as well, but it just looks like a big toy, which is the thing that I like about it the most. And then the final dragon, like you probably just saw before, is the Apollo Divine Dragon. So the Apollo's elements are Divine, Fire, and Plant, base attack of 78. So he does have one of the higher base attack stats in the whole of the game. But the Apollo, you know, he was a lot of people's favorite Divine Dragon when it was released during the last event. And so far to this day, we still have not seen any news about when he is going to come out. Of course, he may come out with the next Divine event that comes, or maybe they're saving him for something completely different. All that I know is, I wanted him at the time and he never became available, so as soon as he does actually become obtainable in-game, I reckon a lot of people are going to be trying their best to get a hold of him. But, you know, those are just 16 of the possible different dragons that, uh, you know, they could basically release any of these at any time in bundles or anything like that. It's just they haven't quite yet. And I, I guess the main question to me is why? You know, why would you ever not bring out dragons? Is there a reason why they're being saved? Do all of these have a plan to be brought out in the future? I don't know, but the Circus Dragon, the Apollo Dragon, and, you know, the Black Hole and the Orca, I think are some of the main dragons I really, really want to see released. Oh, and the Vibrant Dragon. I just forgot about him, even though I was just looking at him. But, you know, let me know which one of these you'd want to see in-game. Just look at how cool some of these designs are. I, I, I do like a lot of these designs, just as cool. Turf is cute in his own way, you know. You can't go wrong. And, uh, you know, I, I guess we can hope and pray that they'll all be released one day, but I guess only when we get more, more habitats per level, I guess. Because imagine if all of these dragons were available in-game. Uh, if that if that was the case, we'd actually have nowhere to store them. Considering that, you know, even at max level, there is not enough room to place every dragon in the game. But, you know, for now, like I said, let me know which one you'd want to see in the game the most. They're just... some of these have such wacky, weird designs. But for now, thanks for watching, and until next time, I will see you then.